Military commanders know the death of 12 civilians killed by two US rockets in the most recent fighting will make their task much more difficult. The commander of all NATO and US forces has already launched an investigation and again he's made it clear the safety of civilians is his paramount concern. The first thing I would say is when President Karzai approved the conduct of this operation, he gave us some very specific guidance. And that guidance was to continue to protect the people of Afghanistan. And so this operation has been done with that in mind. Clearing mines and booby traps will take some time, but there was never much doubt that the international forces, with their Afghan partners and superior firepower, would capture much of the territory pretty quickly. This, though, is now the difficult part. Forces have been having meetings with tribal leaders because they know they'll never be able to hold on to the ground they've gained without the support of the local population. Some sound supportive. We are all very happy the forces are going to bring peace for our children and wives. But here, appearances can be deceptive. The Taliban fighters in this area were mostly locals, and it's not clear where they all went. Some have almost certainly melted away into the population to fight another day. Afghanistan's interior minister says they have a clear choice. Your best option is to take advantage of the Afghan peace and reconciliation program. There is no way you can win there. The Afghan people are determined to win. Military planners had originally estimated that operations around Marja would take about a month. They now believe they can be completed sooner. However, at the same time, the Afghan authorities have admitted that three out of the 13 districts in Helmand province remain under Taliban control, and they're urging local elders to set up tribal militia to try and restore government rule. James Bay's Al Jazeera, Kabul.